Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really quick glute workout for you. It's going to be wrist friendly. We'll be working on the mat in a clam position almost throughout the whole uh, sequence. And it's super short, only 10 minutes. So if you're up for it, you can meet down at the mat laying on one side here with me. So coming down to the side, you can either lay all the way down or you can rest your head in your hand. That's up to you. Let's begin laying like so. So your shins are parallel to the long side of the mat and your thighs are parallel to the short side of the mat. You're just going to lift the, the upper leg a little bit and make three beautiful circles with your legs. So you're not making the circle so big as uh, so that you tip back towards your tailbone just try to keep yourself frontal let's reverse the circle so the movement is only in the hip joint the leg is just you're just keeping the leg still one more circle and now if you can you can grab your shin or your foot and pull your foot closer to your pelvis in the back getting a little stretch at the front of the thigh One more breath. Beautiful. Let go and find a clam position, meaning that your toes are a bit closer to your center line. And we'll begin the, the workout part of this class. So open your knees up and then bring the knees together. Five more. And together, open up. So same thing here. You don't want to be tipping your weight behind you. Four and three and two and last one and for a variation pulse back twice one two and then close pulse back one two and close so hopefully you're feeling it at the bottom of your glute muscle three more and down and two down last one and down all right let's open up again and then tap your knees together make a half circle with your hip tap your toes together five more tap your knees and tap your toes so you can exaggerate this rainbow kind of shape it's going to make it a little bit tougher for you three And two. And last one. All right, gather your legs and then come back to that previous position where everything is parallel, 90 degrees. Lift your upper leg up and you're going to lift it even higher up, coming down parallel to the floor. Extend your leg and lift your leg up and down again. So bend the knee up, down parallel to the floor. Make sure that your knee is pointing straight forward so you're not rotating out. Knee in front of you, up, down, extend the leg, up, down. So you're feeling it on the outside of your hip here. That's often a bit tougher than if we rotate out. That's because the muscles here are kind of small. <laughs> All right. One more repetition of this and lift up and down. Stay here, flex your foot, kick twice in front of you and then exhale, inhale to extend. Kick twice, inhale to extend. Moving parallel to the floor. <laughs> parallel to the floor and extend. Two more, kick, kick. Extend, last one, extend. And now you're going to bicycle through. Do not lift your legs so high in front of you because if you do, you might tuck your pelvis and curve your lower back and we don't want that. We want a neutral pelvis, neutral back, only the leg is moving. You can keep it further away from your chest if you know 
you understand what I'm saying? Just keeping it low here. Little bicycle. One more and stay extended here in the back, parallel to the floor. Now you're going to rotate your knee out and then in five, four, three, and two. Last one. Extend your bottom leg as well. Come up to a passe. And now catch yourself with that arm. You're going to drop your knee towards the floor. Lift it back up and extend. And you have five. Drop it down. Up. Extend. Four. Drop. Up. Extend. Halfway through. Three. Three. Aha, uh -huh, two more. Shoop. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Last one. Drop your knee and now bring that bottom knee up as well. So this is 90 degrees now. You're going to tap your knees together and extend up to a diagonal. All right, so nice and slow here. You're rotating in and then extending up to the di diagonal. So it's out. Uh, <laughs> Out here, we're feeling it on the outside of the hip. Really connect visually with that inward rotation. Ah, three more. Kind of tough for me at least. Two. Last one. Three. And extend. And now we'll make three beautiful large circles with the leg. Again, only as large as your hips are allowing uh, or meaning that you're not doing anything with your lower back you're not tucking to compensate you're keeping your pelvis and your back neutral let's reverse the circle in the other way really imagine that you're drawing around something big sphere <laughs> two last one three and come to the floor you're going to push yourself up to seated we'll do a little stretch on the side here just to give yourself a moment and then swing the legs to the other side and lay down on your right side or your left side the opposite side anyway find 90 degrees in your legs and we remember we begin warming up the hip, making some hip circles. So just keep going, just making sure I have room, yes. <laughs> yes, I have room. Reverse the circle. Two more. So your hips are probably a bit different. Mine definitely are. So do keep in mind that grab your foot and you're going to pull your foot towards your pelvis in the back. So uh, one of my hips is uh, much more closed because I have some past injuries and all kinds of <laughs> weird stuff. <laughs> so you have to um, respect the difference from side to side. All right, let's begin with the, um, the workout, come to a clamp. You're just going to open up and then bring your leg back to the floor. Now open up and back to the floor. Four more. So I don't know if you can see, but this side for me almost doesn't open in a turnout. So if I was to push that, I would kind of tip over to my back. <laughs> so I just have to kind of swallow my pride and just stay here. <laughs> To work correctly let's pulse back on two one two and calm down one two and down four more and if you want an extra challenge you can always release that um, uh, arm that is supporting you or you can even place it behind your head like so <sighs> one more and let's open up the knee again you're going to tap, making a half circle, tap the knees together, half circle, tap your toes together. 
and we have five and toes four three so just reminding you that you can lay all the way down if your uh, wrists are hurting this might be a better option for you let's do one more of this tap the toes together and relax 90 degrees in your knees lift the upper leg up and you're going to lift it all the way up parallel to the floor extend lift your leg up and down and in and up and down extend up and down and in so again make sure that your knee is pointing forward in space so you're not turning out and you're not getting the full benefit of this specific exercise we have two more repetitions of this and last one you'll stay extended here flex your foot kick twice in front of your body not too high make sure you're not tucking your pelvis to get that leg higher up towards your chest you really want to um, just um, just work with the leg meaning that you're not curving your lower back to get the leg further up one more so this is especially for the next exercise as we bicycle through it's really easy to bring that the back into it put your back into it <laughs> that's some song or or a saying or something okay so almost as if as i extend i'm almost sticking my tail out a little bit to counteract that um that curving that wants to happen two more and last one stay extended and you you will now rotate out and in so the knee points up and in so i have almost no rotation in this leg anymore or in this hip but for you you will have a beautiful outward rotation here let's do two more last one extend both the legs come to a passe drop the leg in front of you lift it up and extend all right so if you are a uh, superstar you can let go of this supporting hand i cannot without falling on my face if you're really strong in your abdomen then you might be able to let's do two more and this is the last one so you'll stay with the knee in front of you bring the bottom leg to a 90 degree position tap your knees together stay in this turn in position and extend up on a diagonal Whew. all right tap your knees together extend up so try to stay in that inward rotation three more and two last one beautiful let's make some circles large circles if you can or if your hips are not that mobile or maybe not that strong then you can make a smaller circle it's better to make a smaller movement or do a smaller movement but make it really good and pristine reverse circle than to try to make something really large and explosive but then feel floppy and sloppy about it and just keep that in mind all right that's the last one you're now going to just tip yourself over to your belly for the last little burnout we have so open your legs bend your knees heels together uh, forehead to the floor and you're going to kick back one leg at a time so imagine you have something heavy behind you that you're kicking into or that you're pushing up 
all right so can you feel it in your glute here lifting that knee off the floor and we'll do 10 more nine eight try to relax your neck seven and six and five and four three two one extend once come back to the same position and now 10 times both legs at the same time push up and up seven more and six and five and four three two and one and relax come on to the side Ooh. and push yourself up to seated and come to the front of the mat cross at the ankles we'll just do a super quick little stretch so just dive over your legs like so and send your breath down into your glutes into your hips so the places that we work in maybe you're feeling a little bit of tightness there that's where you want to imagine your breath is going filling up that muscle and softening it on your exhale one more breath come back up and flip over or <laughs> switch the legs and dive over again and send the breath into that opposite hip one more deep breath and as you exhale roll up through your spine inhale your arms up above the head exhale ground yourself come back to center two more times inhale your arms up exhale down inhale up last one and exhale down good job you guys Thank you for being here with me today. I upload a new class every Monday, so do subscribe to my channel if you're interested in taking my classes with me. Thank you so much again, and until next time, bless you. Ciao.